So you've just made some sweet materials in Substance Painter and now you want to take them into Blender and view them in real time, but you're not quite sure how to do it. I got you. The first thing you want to do in Substance Painter is to rename your texture set. This is because exported textures will inherit their name from wherever you type in here. Then go over to File, Export Textures to bring out the export dialog box. First set the export location. Next to the settings tab, select output templates and find the Unity Universal Render Pipeline template and make a copy of it. Right click and rename it so it's easily identifiable later on. In the output maps, get rid of mesh tag and everything else after albedo and repeat this step for the metallic, normals and emission. What I tend to do is to include the AO texture I baked out in the export just so it's all in one place. And to do that we click the RGB button and then drag the ambient occlusion box into the RGB slot. Rename the new AO map copying the texture set tag from the other map slots. Now that's done, let's head back to the settings tab and set the output template to the one we just created. Set the file type to Targa and include dithering. Next we set the size of the output to well, for this example, let's set it to 4096. And then hit that export button. Open up Blender, import your model and head over into the shading tab at the top. Before we import our textures, make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed. It's free and it gives you some extra functionality that we're going to use now to speed things up a bit. Rename the material so it's identifiable and then select the principal BSDF node and hit Ctrl Shift T. Navigate to your file location and select all of your recently exported textures from Substance Painter. Node Wrangler will auto assign the textures to the relevant slots but it doesn't do it completely. So to finish this off what we need to do is to properly hook up the roughness and then inverting that connection. Press tab and type invert and drop it on the alpha connection. Now your roughness is properly rendering. The last thing to do is to add in our AO map. First copy the albedo slot and click the X so it becomes a unique texture slot. Select the AO file and now let's mix the AO over to the albedo channel. To do this we hit tab and type in RGB mix. Hook the AO texture in at the bottom and now the albedo at the top. Set the mixing method to multiply. And there we have it, your sweet materials from Substance, now in Blender. Enjoy!